Could a new AI program have accurately predicted what the face of God looks like? Well, some are saying yes, some are saying no about the chilling images. We'll get into all the details here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I remind you guys to help me out here with my goal for the month of December, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for just five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. The month is almost over. We have two so far. We're still looking for three more. Can you guys make this happen here in the final hours of December? More info on that for you in the description. So let's talk for a second about the face of God. You know, there have been a lot of stories lately that have come out, and I have reported on many of them that have actually had to do with the face of God. You know, about a month or so ago, I talked about one evangelist, one pastor who was actually promising his viewers that if they signed up for his his live Zoom conference that he was going to be holding soon, that if they tuned in, that they would be guaranteed to see the face of God during that stream, okay? Now, in addition to that, you also recently had televangelist Jesse Duplantis come out and say that when you see me, you see God the Father incarnate. You see the face of God when you look at me. How blasphemous is that? Jesse Duplantis said that. You can look it up for yourself, okay? Now, you have a brand new AI program. It's called Night Cafe Creator that has offered images of what the face of God looks like. Now, is it just me? Or doesn't the Bible say something about how no man can see the face of God? Because if so, they'd what? They'd, they'd burst. They wouldn't be able to handle it. No man would see the face of God. But yet everybody is talking about it. So, what exact images did this night cafe creator AI come up with for the face of God? We're going to get to that in a second. First, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon, guys. I got to do this being that I get no monetization on the YT platform. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me in my ministry. And again, you can do it for just five bucks a month by going over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Remember, you help us with our goal for the month of December, which is rapidly coming to a close. We have two new patrons so far, still looking for three more in the final hours. But not only that, when you sign up, you're going to be alerted for all my content. This is very important because if the only way you watch these videos is through the YT alert system, trust me, it's trash, it's garbage. You're going to miss a ton of content. So sign up for that, but also so you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. YT is removing your comments more and more. You want to prevent them from blocking and removing what you're saying. Get on over to Patreon, leave your comments there where we can have a nice free flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You can even send me direct messages as well. So check it out. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So with this program, with the Night Cafe creator, they have added some prompts where yes, you could put in things here into the, into the search such as face of God, God's face, or just simply God. And when you do, the AI will come up with pictures for whatever it is that you put there in the box. So upon putting this in, this was interesting, which by the way, I am going to put a link in the description. You can see these images for yourself. There are a ton of them. Okay. So I want you to check those out when you get done watching this video here. But interestingly enough, the majority of the images that came out when, you know, asking to depict the face of God were the majority were female. That's very interesting, isn't it? Now we know that many in the woke community have tried very hard to paint this picture that God is a female, even though the Bible refers to God over and over and over again as what? Father, meaning male. 
Nevertheless, this is what the AI produced, majority being female. But there were some that were depicted as male. You had some that would have God, you know, the face being this bald head that had trees growing out of its head and what looked like to be thorns of some sign coming out of his head overlooking a mount, uh, overlooking a mountain like almost as if he was looking out at his creation you had others that had female figures that had glowing faces some with halos above them some that depicted these females wearing a crown that appeared to be a crown of trash around their head some that had a a golden tear coming down from its eye others looked more angelic and you got to understand they had images here that are in the portrait mode and some that were in the landscape mode. The ones that were in the landscape mode appeared to be images that were more dark and more brooding, that had fire, that had more apocalyptic type of a, uh, a tone to it, meaning God was angry. So you had the angry images of God, the good images of God, you know, and look, make no mistake about it. The Bible is clear on this. No man can see the face of God, but there is an obsession over it to see his face. And we'll see the face of Christ, of Jesus. But these images are very interesting. And again, I'm going to put the link in the description. You can check them out for yourself. Look, AI is very dangerous. God did not create AI. AI does not know the truth. I go guarantee you this. All these images that you look through, none of them are probably remotely close to what the face of God looks like. Not at all. Look, this is the most important thing that you can worry about right now. Is whether or not you are walking with Jesus Christ. The time is short. We are in the last days. And he is coming back soon. So, let me end this video on hope. It's something that I do here on all my videos, giving people the opportunity to come to Christ. If you're watching this video right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways again. No, but turn from your sin. Those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Remember, check those images. They'll be in the description. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Help bless the ministry. Get us to our goal of five new patrons before December comes to an end. Remember, two so far, still looking for three more. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.